Hello again. Well, I got another video for you today. I was out at the track this weekend. Uh, my boy and I had our first ever race, indoor race. And uh, he did a lot better than I did, I can tell you that much. But uh, he stripped out two servos in the process. Uh, not his fault. It was my STRC, steering bell crank, servo saver. You know, the upgraded $50 part. Anyway, I've adjusted this thing. I thought I had it well. I had it greased up. I had this. Um, I had it turned right off so the spring wasn't too tight. It was functioning. But anyway, we stripped out two of these Traxxas 2075 servos. So I figured I'll give you a rebuild. How do we do it? Well, first of all, you need to get the uh, rebuild kit, which is just all the gears and such. Uh, it comes from a lot cheaper. And buying a new servo, I can tell you that. So basically, there's just four screws. You pull those out, flip it over, put the black end down, you pull this up. Be careful not to lose that uh, rubber seal. And you can, when you pull it up, push down on this so it all comes apart. Now, the way that I do it, once you get this top piece off, snap a picture or something so you know the orientation of everything and how it goes back together. Um, I've had that before where you're trying to find schematics and it's just a lot easier. Snap a quick little picture, you can refer to it later when you're going back through the gears and putting it back in place. So I'll go ahead and get that cover off. Okay, so just as I said, just pull those four screws, push down on the top, pull this up. Uh, there is no, so there is a little rubber seal, that black seal around the edge. Just be careful not to lose that. You can usually leave it in place, um, but if it comes unseated from the the channel there you'll have to reinstall it just be careful so what did I strip holy man looks like a couple gears got chewed up in here the main gear is missing many teeth uh, yeah did some damage anyway so I'm gonna go through and pull this apart have a quick look at all the gears and make sure that I've replaced any and all of the damaged ones. Okay, so here we are. Now, one thing I want to mention, start from the top and work down. Like basically pull off the top gears and work down. So I lay them out in order so I know which way they go back. That's the top. Bang, bang. So I put this one in first, second, third, fourth. When you pull it off, you'll notice this piece here. That's the potentiometer. Leave it alone. Don't turn it around and mess it all up or you'll have issues setting it back up. Try and install the gear the same orientation as it came out. And uh, inspect all the gears. Like, you need to look at this little guy and go through all the teeth, make sure none are damaged, and you gotta do with all the gears. It appears only this one is damaged. Oh, maybe this one as well. Yeah. So these two, oops pick that up but I mean, it appears just those two are the damaged ones so those will have to get replaced okay well lucky for me I've had a, I had a couple of these servos around and I also have an old rebuild kit here with all the bearings and all the pieces I need for one so I've actually got two servos I gotta pull this one apart as well and figure out what's damaged upon closer inspection I noticed there's actually three gears you got the top one on here that's broken I got this one as well that's broken and then the top one on this as well is broken so I've got most replacements for these there I've got that one I don't have this one so we'll see so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my second servo apart and maybe with a little luck I'll have the proper parts for both okay so now I've put it all back together now what you want to do you can see that line on this big gear here, right there, it's coming out. That is your center marking. So you basically want that straight up with the cable. So I'm gonna disassemble this again slowly for you to show you, and then I'll put it back together uh, again. So when you pull it up, make sure like there's a pin, the long pin, just leave it in the gear. Well, okay, make sure it goes back into that gear, like so. Stick it out, right? Okay, that's first gear off. Second gear is gonna be the main gear here. Okay, third gear, this one. You can't do it with one hand, so just a sec. Okay, so there's the third one. Nope, battery's finished. And the fourth one. Now the fourth one's just loose, and that's where this pin here from the first one, it actually 
lo locks this one in place as well, so it's very important. So first off, you drop this guy in. Just get it centered in there. It'll kind of lock, you'll feel it, like, it'll be in the right place. So, anyway, just kind of lock it in there. It's going to feel loose, it's not going to feel quite right, but just leave it. Okay, second. Was this guy? I believe. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I got this wrong, but we'll find out in a second. Yep, so that one goes down, sorry, second one goes down. Third one like that, and then the fourth one just skewers them all. Like so. And when you put it back together, before you lock it all up and uh, put all the screws and everything, so now I push that in, you can hear it go click, and it kind of locks everything in place. Now, you need to make sure everything's proper before you put it together and then find out it's all wrong. So when I did it, make sure that if you don't have this straight up and down, it's going to go crazy when you plug it in, trying to find its center point. So make sure that's centered with the wire. Now I'm going to plug it in and just show you how it functions here. Uh, in this state, so I got my servo. Right, I'll turn this off so you can see this thing. Okay, so I'm plugging it into my TQI. It's my just regular Traxxas. Okay, so turn it on. Heard it fire up there. So now you should be able to watch it move back and forth, and it should go the equal distance both ways. So this is where my flash is kind of making that center ridge thing disappear. But you can see it when you're working with it. And it will, there it is. Just make sure that's center. Now if your trim's out, you can see it, it'll move with the trims. So you kind of want to have that centered as best you can. And that's it, put it back together, put a little grease in there, make sure the, just a little bit of grease. Put it back together and you're done. So I hope this video helped. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I'd be happy to help you out. And we'll see you again.